Hi, my name is Seb, and you're watching Seb's Supercar. Please smash the like button or subscribe to my channel to see more videos from me. So what I'm going to cover today is a very easy do-it-yourself repair for a very common problem on the Ferrari 360 F1 transmission. So it has to do with this here. So this is the reverse uh, gear selector. And the way that it operates is you have to lift up and move backwards. Um, so what will sometimes happen with a unfamiliar driver is they'll just force it back and that'll actually just break some clips within inside. But what's happened to mine, and this is also very common, is by lifting up, it's actually just stripped right off of the screw. So it'll still function. I can lift the lever, the little stub here, but I want to reattach this. The only way to reattach this is to actually remove this whole selector plate and uh, then we'll get to it. Okay, but before we begin, because there's electronics in here, um, we're going to take every precaution and we're going to uh, disable the battery, which is under the front boot or the uh, front trunk of the car. Before we do that, what I recommend is lower the windows a little bit, like you see I have here, because that automatic um, lowering that happens to clear the weather stripping will not occur anymore, and you can damage the weather stripping or the window if you try opening and close without doing that. So let's go, uh, now that I've got my windows lowered, um, disable the battery. So before we begin, I want to protect my center console paint. And so I'm just going to use some masking tape and mask around the reverse and transmission selector like that, just in case my screwdriver slips and I won't nick the center console. This is basically held on by just four Phillips screws. So just be very careful you don't scratch the aluminum plate. Now that my four screws are out, it'll just lift right out. And there's actually enough wire play. This is one connector only. There's a little tab, just be careful. Lift it with your fingernail not to break it. And it's free. Okay, now I have my uh, automatic and uh, reverse gear selector uh, removed and I've taken it indoors. It's a lot easier to work on it on a tabletop. And the first thing we need to do is remove this back plate. So there's just these prongs that we'll have to slowly release. Okay, so we have to remove the electronics housing from the faceplate. And to do that, uh, there's a small number one Phillips screw right through the center hole. And then we have to remove this whole plastic housing, which is held on by these four tabs. So we have to lift them. We'll use a small um, slotted or flat a uh, tiny precision screwdriver. And as we lift it off, we'll place a paper clip underneath each. They all have to be lifted off uh, in order to remove this plate. And then we're able to just lift this off, but do it all upside down. So now that it's completely removed, this is my reverse lever. So if you need to replace this, uh, it's about $100. You can buy it from Recambi. Um, if that's what's broken. In our particular case, we've just lost the T part that has come off. So there's a long screw. You can see that it, it moves through here. So we have to remove all of that casing in order to get to that screw to secure this piece. So now we're gonna reattach it and screw it on. I'm just going to reposition 
my T-handle while holding this upside down. There's my screw that'll hold it in place. And it's a very tiny Phillips. I'm just gonna be very careful as I tighten that I don't over tighten and strip it. Okay. There. Now all that's left to do is to reassemble it and put it back in the car. Last piece, this one just snaps in. That's it, now let's go throw it back in the car. Okay, so now it's just reverse order of when we remove this. We're gonna reconnect our clip. Feed it in. And now just Reinstall our four screws. Okay, that's our last screw. We can remove our masking tape and we're all done. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Smash the like button and subscribe to my channel so you can enjoy more videos about my new Ferrari ownership experience.